Good evening, PNG, and thanks for joining us for another great show of Sports Scene, proudly brought to you by Coca-Cola. We have a great show lined up for you tonight. We will be speaking to Stanley Nandex of the Papua New Guinea Kickboxing Association. He will be talking about the upcoming Kickboxing Cup that heads down to Kokopo, Eastern Britain Province. Yes, that's the NGI leg of the Kickboxing Cup. So stay tuned for that interview. Also, our athlete profile for this week is none other than Nigel Dabinyabo of Hikari United FC. Great show lined up for you folks for sports scene tonight. We kickstart this segment and take a look at DG Cell Cup Match 5 on Sunday. The results. We start off with the match between Lahanis and Miox. Lahanis going down to Miox 30 points to 12. Sad loss for the Lahanis after beating defending champs Gurias the previous weekend. So we do wish the Lahanis all the best in their next match. And good on the Miox for taking out the win on the weekend. Morox drawing Wigman for all. And he's out there giving Gurias a run for their money here at Lloyd Robson Oval in Port Moresby. 26 to 28 Gurias. So um, we do wish the Sakya all the best for their next match. Good on you, Gurias, for getting back up there and getting another win. Tigers defeated Vipers 24 to 6. Sad loss to the Vipers. Good on you, Tigers. You're on a roll. And the Lions defeating Eagles 24 to 18. So there you have it. Match 5 of the DG Cell Cup for you. And on Saturday, up in Lane National Soccer League, the Curry continued their washout match. They went up against Morbe FC, thrashing them 4 0. We do wish um, Hekari all the best. They are this year's minor premiers for the National Soccer League and that also gives them another shot at the Champions League. This year they managed to just edge out Solomon Warriors and finish third on the ladder for Group A. So we wish them all the best for next year's Champions League. Well, we'll go for a break. Coming up on the other side, we speak to Stanley Nandex of the PNG Kickboxing Association. Stay tuned. <laughs> Back to Coca-Cola Sports Scene. Now we're joined by none other than Stanley Nandex of the Papua New Guinea Kickboxing Association to talk about Heat 2 of the Kickboxing Cup. Thank you for joining us on Sports Scene this evening, Stanley. Yes, thank you, Mari. Thank you. Okay, um, originally it was um, scheduled for the uh, 11th of May, but we'll be having the Cup this weekend, this Saturday. Absolutely. Uh, my apologies to the community in, uh, in Kokopo. In fact, there's been a lot of momentum and the excitement was already there. Uh, in fact, I had to defer the tournament to the 18th, which is this Saturday, due to some um, criteria that have not been followed for the interest of the sport. Okay. Well, tell us a bit about um, the NGA League back in Kokopo. Yes, um, I think one of the requirements that we need as part of the Auction Palm Cup is that um, all the fighters must be there, representing each provinces, and also there must be medical um, checks done be done and also the matching and the briefing has to be also in advance to make sure that they know what they're doing. So uh, I went there two days prior to the event and I actually mm -hmm. sent uh, across my officials just to coordinate this and um, I think that uh, they haven't done those um, groundwork done properly and for the safety of the fighters and the sponsors and the uh, well-being of the organizations, I think I have to defer the program to next Saturday. But I think um, the support's been really overwhelming. People are very much looking forward for this event and uh, it's going to be a heat too and uh, we, we're all getting excited for this Saturday. So how many fighters are we looking at? How many centers will be there? Uh, we're looking at about 50 fighters across the uh, region, uh, representing these provinces, uh, Bougainville, uh, Kimbe, Kavian, uh, Manus, as well as host province, uh, Rabaul. So uh, this elimination will go through it uh, and we're looking at about 25 fighters will be selected from the region. Are there some fighters that you're happy to be looking out for? Oh yes, um, I, I think in this event we're looking at two provinces I'm predicting at the moment. Uh, Bougainville uh, because of the skills in boxing and the background they've got and uh, also the uh, host province Rabaul has been very good in the uh, PNG games. I've seen the fighters, uh, um, you know I can't all underestimate the other provinces but uh, I think they're all ready for it and uh, it'll be very exciting. Yes, uh, Bougainville did do exceptionally well in the PNG Games last year. Yeah, they did well. Um, um, you know, they, the, the people up there, they're just uh, naturally talented in terms of boxing skills. And uh, we're developing um, a bit of kicking into it. They've been really doing well. Uh, most of the fighters will be also selected for international meet this year as well. So um, uh, we're also looking forward to um, have them on, on, on the show. So the cup will be held at Don Bosco in Kokopo? Uh, the venue has all been changed. I think it will be at the... Um, uh, Bunavovi Catholic uh, Dinosaur's Hall uh, starts 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. So um, the setup's been already done, the boxing rings, and uh, 
the decoration of the place and uh, the fighters have been also been already in town uh, getting prepared for this event and uh, uh, I think it, I'm also looking forward to, to get there again and um, see this event happening. Okay, so um, after the NGI leg, we head on to the next region, which will be? Yeah, it will be in Leg uh, on the 15th of uh, June, and it will be Heat 3, uh, and then we'll be moving over to uh, Highlands region in Koroka for the Highlands uh, Heat 4. Um, I think this is just the elimination. Uh, what we see is that um, all, it's an open for uh, any fighters to you know, get into the, these the competitions. We also is a, a sending an invitation to other different martial arts like Taekwondo, Karate, to represent each region to fight in the kickboxing uh, rule. And uh, also this is the semi-professional uh, part of this is also preparation towards the World Cup in Turkey next year as well. And we've got three international invitations this year. So um, I'd like to thank uh, like Auction Palm who has actually come on board to make this concept work. And um, I think it's really benefiting to the fighters. Um, and um, we're also looking forward to also send these fighters across for overseas. Tinasan, you were on the hotspot show earlier in the, in the year explaining about the cup when it was launched. But just for our viewers' benefit, could you tell us a bit about this concept, the kickboxing cup? Yeah, the, uh, the auction Park cup, actually, we are looking at the last man standing. That's, that's the, uh, uh, the ultimate uh, result of this whole competition from its divisions. Um, the very exciting divisions will be from 70 to 72 kilogram, which is also, they've got the package. Uh, in next year, 2014, we've got a K1 match in Japan, and uh, the winner for that uh, division actually walks away with 50,000 kina, uh, as well as also other 50,000 was been allocated to um, the other undercut. So in these whole competitions, we have a price money of 100,000 to be won at the end of the competition. So each region, uh, after the uh, elimination, the quarterfinal, the semifinal, there's only two fighters representing each region, representing their own region, uh, uh, Gator Chris. So these fighters will all go into the finals and to have last men standing in that, um, uh, in that competition. So it will be very tough. Um, the tough also it actually comes with so much of uh, injuries and uh, so much of uh, you know, determination in terms of uh, getting through the process to qualify themselves and also representing PNG for the World Cup in, in Japan for the K1 match is also going to be a tough for the person. Now, besides um, being tournament director for the Kickboxing Cup, you're also involved with um, the PNG Kickboxing Association itself? Yes, uh, we have two functions at the moment kickboxing involves, uh, which is the Yamanji Kickboxing Association as well as the KB1. KB1 actually will be really focusing on the semi-professional fighters, engaging them outside. My job is to do a matchmaking and uh, making sure that these fighters actually have to get a world ranking as well. So um, I think this um, auction pump concept, uh, we are trying to really develop the uh, professional fighters into this level now. Uh, with the amateur level also, we've got their own tournaments like regional events, national championships and PNG games and uh, also other international amateur games. So it's part of developing them into uh, the semi-professional level. So anyone actually take part in these all events, like international events, they're qualified to become semi-professional. So KB1 actually manages all of that. Okay. Doing a great job there. And congratulations, you're also um, nominated for the Sports Awards. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's another, um, another surprise. And, you know, it's, um, um, I, I think I would say thank you to people who have actually nominated and uh, the, um, the selection committee for uh, putting me on as another uh, nominee for the um, sports... Community Sports Initiative. Yeah, award. I think I've got about two, uh, two yeah. awards nominee for this one. Um, the service to sports and, um, and the, our association for involving and also other community involvements and activities what we've been uh, involved in so yeah thank you thank you for um, the, the nominee all right but well, we wish you all the best for the sports awards and we wish you all the best this saturday for the ngi leg of the kickboxing cup yes thank you mari uh, i'd like to also appeal to the community in kokopo and rabao um, don't miss this opportunity it's um, on the 18th this saturday be there at 10 o'clock to 9 o'clock the, the station is going to be only 2000 capacity you know, be the early and uh, you can have the space and uh, watch this action pack kickboxing showdown. All right. Well, they had it from Stanley himself, all those people in Kokopo. The kickboxing cup heads to your shows this Saturday. But we'll go for a break now. Remember, the 500 mil Coca Cola is only three kina. Stanley, the sun is so hot. We That's should just right. grab some Coke right now, shouldn't we? Yeah. All right. We'll go for a break. When we come back, there's lots more on Coca Cola Sports Scene. Welcome back to 
you're watching Coca-Cola Sports Scene. Now we feature our athlete profile for this week and our athlete profile is Nigel Dabinyaba of Hikari United FC. My name is Nigel, my surname is Dabinyaba. Uh, I'm from a mixed parentage of East New Britain and Northern Province. Oro. My father is from Northern Oro and my mother is from East New Britain. When I started playing soccer, I was, I think, 16 years old, heading towards 17 years old. That was in 2009 and 10 season. And that was when I first started playing soccer. Um, I started playing with Gira, Laitapo, because I used to live in Leh, that's why I played with them. Uh, Playing for them in 2009 and 10th season. After that, I got selected and to play with uh, Best of PNG United. And that was the first two clubs that I started playing with. Uh, it's been a great pleasure, yeah. Um, and playing around big boys and national players like Kema Jack, uh, David Muta, uh, Raymond Gunemba. There are lots of other international senior players in like Peter Bolatonga and Tanya Lewanga, Joachim Waroy. Yeah, it's been a great pleasure playing with them. When I was a little kid, uh, going around watching uh, National Soccer League in 2006, that was when I wasn't playing, yeah, and when it started, uh, I was thinking, yeah, one day I might be get selected if I tried my best. And yeah, yeah, it's a dream come true joining this club. Uh, yeah, well, I'm 21 years, I mean, heading towards 21 years old now, and I'll be still playing soccer for the next five years, and hopefully abroad, yeah. For me, it's a dream to take soccer as my career, yeah. To be a professional footballer, seeing English Premier League uh, players being paid millions, yeah. Uh, for me, when I grew up, I wanted to be a pilot, exactly. Um, but just because of soccer, I left school. And I just want to take soccer as my career. Yeah. When I was in school, playing soccer at the same time, my classmates used to ask me, hey, how do you balance this and that, getting this kind of marks and this? I say, um, it's just a matter of balancing things. Huh? Whenever I have time for study, I do studies. Whenever I have time for um, training, I go for training. But I think putting God first is the most important thing. I think Lionel Messi is my favorite sporting hero. Why Lionel Messi? Why Lionel Messi? Because I know he's a humble person. And every time he scores, he does this. He points up to heaven because he you knows God is there. Uh, my favorite football club is Barcelona, and that's where Lionel Messi is playing here. Yeah. Hi, I'm Nigel Dabinyaba of Ekari United Football Club, and you're watching Coca-Cola Sports Team. Coca-Cola sports scene. Unfortunately, it is the time where we wrap up the show for yet another week. Glad you could join us and hope you enjoyed the show. If you're here in Port Mosby, here at the Sir John Guy Stadium, Hekari will be taking on Western Britain Tabor FC on Wednesday. So if you're free around that time in the Avo, do come around and watch that match. If you will be taking part in sports during the week or on the weekend, do stay safe, enjoy. And remember, the Coca-Cola 500 mil is only three kina. Yes, the retail price is only three kina, so grab yourself one when you can. Until next Monday, join us same time. It's good night from us. Come on.